Hello YouTube subscribers and uh, other friends. We've been having a few problems with this uh, Ideal Mexico HE30 um, floor standing boiler which has been displaying every known code that you could possibly think of. I think we had uh, LF and H4 quite common. Uh, we even had, I think we had an EL at one point and a mystery one with a kind of uh, six or a B flashing up. So uh, naturally enough, uh, we decided to take it all to bits and see what wanted fixing in the normal DIY way. We've got the instruction book here. So this is uh, what we did and how we got the boiler running again. Hope you find this interesting. First thing to do is uh, not have a, a quick drink off the top shelf, but to make sure the isolating switch is in the off position. What we've discovered is this gizmo here is leaking water down onto this uh, these connectors here and shorting the whole shooting match. So we're going to drain the system down and see if we can fit this new part. No rehearsals here guys, as you know, if you get it wrong, we get it wrong in public. Just be wary in case there may be a little bit of water about. Give it a little to tighten up. Now, what you don't want to do is put too much pressure on and rip this thing off the copper tube. Then you would be in deep doo-doos. So what we're going to do today is replace this control thermistor. It only costs about £9 for the part. So we're going to swap that over and see if that has any effect. That's a new part fitted and it just pushes onto those uh, connecting terminals and use this little gizmo to uh, self tap it onto this uh, plate. Well, no surprises there. No surprises there either. There's just a little bit more uh, filming of the um, sump trap, which apparently is a thing that can get uh, full of uh, debris and cause problems. And when your boiler's being serviced, apparently that is meant to be cleaned out. Now, for the last couple of nights, this boiler has. Uh, gone on error at bedtime but by six o'clock in the morning when it's time to come on the thing has obviously fired itself up so that by breakfast time there's uh, the radiators are hot and there's hot water so to test that to see if uh, there's any condensate coming out I've placed this cut off plastic bottle in this uh, tra trap here and as you can see that is nearly full up so to me that says that the S trap and the drain area is not clogged up and just before you ask no it hasn't been raining overnight it's been bone dry so this to me represents how much has come out of the boiler in that few hours between 6am and 9am 
That's, well, there's half a litre there. Right, we're still having trouble with this um, Ideal Mexico boiler. So what we're going to do today is change the PCB. Now this is an eBay one. Uh, we're going to test that in the hole and see if that has any effect on our problems. So make sure you've turned the juice off first so there's no electricity. And uh, just quickly undo these screws here. On the back of this control unit. Now this one has only been in here uh, I think something like six years. I'm not convinced this is the problem, but that's going to come out to there in due course. Yep. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is carefully check all the connections so that <laughs> if all else fails, we can at least get this thing back in correctly. Right. This seems to be exactly the same got all the same connections and all the same connections at the bottom only difference being these little jumper connectors here because uh, we've got a HE30 and I think this is off something slightly different hopefully we'll be able to switch our jumpers to the same uh, setup, we, what we're going to do is take one of our jumpers to make sure we're just on the same notches with this with this new uh, PCB. So it's going to be a case of removing one from our old kit and fitting it into that space there. Now it's just a matter of connecting everything back into the right place. First of all, I'm going to try to switch over this jumper thing. I'm not quite sure how they come out, but I guess you could just get hold of it with a pair of pliers gently. And that just comes out like that. So we're going to pop that into the same place on the uh, on the reconditioned model. Just there. So those jumpers are now back in the same position that they were on the original PCB. Now, if we can manage to remember what goes where, that one goes there, it's not really a great deal of choice. Uh, that goes there, that goes there. Let's just make sure that goes right in. And that one goes there. This power switch reaches right the way across to this other end. Yep. <clears throat> and these last two go down in here. Hopefully. Yep. So, we now have our reconditioned P 
PCB all connected up, changed over the jumpers in these spaces here and I think we can put this back into its housing. A quick look at the cables in there, everything looks okay. Let's get the inspection lamp on it again. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any damage to any cables that I can see. Everything looks quite neat and tidy. So we'll see if we can just feed this carefully back in here. And I'll just screw that back into place before we do anything else. Right, everything's turned on. for about 10 minutes now and I think it's come up to heat so uh, sounds as if it's just going back down to idle. seems to uh, seems to be quite happy at the moment in the end what we've done today is replace this PCB which um, believe it or not was installed only about six years ago at full price it was an expensive business six years later I don't know whether it's failed or not but I've put a eBay one in for a very modest price 25 pounds I think something like that and the boiler seems to be running. Now, whether or not that's fixed it, I cannot say. Uh, the boiler is quite old, a little bit like the old geezer fixing it. But um, anyway, it's running at the moment and uh, that's what we've changed. Thanks for watching. If you like to subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see what else we get up to as we fix our house fix our car and fix every other thing that uh, needs looking at.